Well, I am on a bit of a road trip here this morning. I have left San Diego, and I haven't made it very far away from San Diego, uh, but for good reason. That, that was actually part of the plan. Um, I'm heading to LA, and with as bad as, as the traffic gets around these parts, uh, I thought I would do the trip in a couple of steps, and just would just the idea of avoiding as much of the bad traffic as possible. So I am in Irvine. I made it to Irvine late yesterday afternoon and uh, traffic got pretty snarly. So I just kind of luckily pulled off in just the right spot, uh, pulled off the freeway right at Great Park, which is this massive, massive city park uh, here in Orange County. and. Uh, I've been aware of it, but I've never been to it before. So it was a nice place to stop for the evening. Uh, I just hung out there in the evening and uh, just an incredible sprawling park. Um, I counted 16 football fields. I, there may have been more, but that's what I saw. Uh, and at least a couple of baseball diamonds and volleyball courts. Um, Basketball courts, of course, uh, just incredibly huge place. Oh, and an ice hockey uh, rink, or I should say a skating rink, ice rink. Um, probably not just for ice hockey. But anyway, just incredible place. Oh, and then kind of the centerpiece of the park is this massive uh, hot air balloon, which apparently you can get rides on occasionally. Uh, it wasn't open while I was there, but... Um, yeah, just kind of an incredible place, uh, but it ended up being a nice place to hang out. Uh, certainly better than sitting in terrible traffic. I think there was an accident, but um, anyway, I was just lucky that I got off the freeway right then. Uh, and then I needed a place to park for the night, so I just went just a few blocks away from the park. And I'm parked in just this neighborhood here, which is been one of the nicest, quietest places I've ever parked overnight. Thumbs up for Irvine. So I've been resisting the urge to jump back on the freeway this morning because again, I don't want to get stuck in a bunch of bad uh, commuter traffic. So I'm just kind of waiting it out. And I think I should be about good to go now. I'm just going to make a little road coffee here and then uh, head up to LA. And it's not so bad. I'm going to East LA area uh, so it shouldn't be too bad it's an area that I know but the reason I'm going is I'm going to pick up a new battery for my solar system here um, I've been having a little battery issue and I finally after doing some testing I finally realized that the battery that I have which is not very old it's just a little over two years old now maybe it's about two and a half years old now um, but it's shot and there's nothing I can do to fix it. You know, they only last so long. Uh, this is an older style battery, uh, an AGM type battery. It's actually a gel battery and I got a really good deal on it back when I bought it. Ordered it from Renogy and I've heard good and bad things about Renogy batteries, at least their sealed lead acid battery, which this is. Uh, but I went ahead and bought it because it was such a good deal. Uh, back then, most of the batteries of this size, it's a 200 amp hour battery. Uh, most of the batteries of that size were running about six to $800. And I bought it for $360, got free shipping. They have to ship by freight and the battery weighs 138 pounds. So free shipping was a good thing. See, I think my coffee is just about ready to plunge here. I'm using my trusty AeroPress. Uh, so, um, I wasn't real happy to find out I need a new battery, but, uh, you know, this is just the way things go. So I did some checking and looked around. I did a bunch of research on batteries and found a few different batteries that look like they would be decent. And one of them was from a company that has a warehouse in LA, which is why I'm heading to LA. I uh, got in touch with them and they got right back to me. 
I think in less than an hour's time, they got right, right back to me and told me, yeah, I could absolutely pick it up uh, at their warehouse. I could pay with a credit card, which is something I like to do just because it's a little bit safer. Um, and so everything kind of seemed good. Um, really nice folks there that I talked to, uh, you know, through, through an email. So I have a good feeling about it, but I'm not there yet. Uh, coffee's done now, so I can hit the road. And I'm not too far away, so it shouldn't take too long as long as I don't have too bad a traffic. But fingers crossed, we shall see. Well, I have lived in Southern California most of my life, and I used to really enjoy going to L.A., uh, but it's not one of my favorite places to go to uh, anymore. Certainly not one of my favorite places to drive through. Uh, but the good thing about where I'm going today is uh, I'm heading to kind of East LA, uh, City of Industry to be more specific. And the funny thing is, is I have family that is from that area. So it's an area that I know really well. And it's not quite into the belly of the beast. So hopefully I can just get in and get out of there uh, as quickly as possible and with uh, not too many issues. But with LA, you just never know. You know, traffic is just crazy. But anyway, enough stalling. I've got to get on the road now. <laughs> Okay, that went pretty well. Uh, didn't go off without a hitch, but it went pretty well. Uh, they uh, told me by email that they took credit cards, but when I got here, they said they couldn't, and so I had to do a little uh, maneuvering around. I ended up paying for it uh, through PayPal, and so it all worked out. They were really nice and accommodating here. Um, I don't know how that got mixed up, but anyway, Got the battery, battery looks good. Uh, we're all good to go. I uh, can't sit here because we are just sitting at the side of a warehouse. So I better go find another place to park for a minute and then I'll check the battery over. Figured I'd better fill up in gas because this is the cheapest gas I've found yet today. Yeah, ouch. Okay, shiny new battery. I've never had a lithium battery before. This is my first one. And I am hopeful that it is going to solve all of my problems, all of my problems in life. Uh, this is the company I went with, Chins, and they're from a pretty large manufacturer in China, so I feel pretty comfortable about this battery. I did quite a bit of research before deciding on this one. Now, what I need to do right away is I've got my meter here, my voltmeter, and I just need to get a idea of the state of charge on this battery. So I'm gonna see what that is. And 13.15, that's pretty good. That's mostly, mostly charged, but not all the way charged. So that's mostly good news. That means I don't need to do too much charging to the new battery before I'm able to use it. And I can charge the new battery with my existing uh, setup. So this is the charge controller that has been charging my battery now. And it's a decent charge controller. It's not the greatest, but it's a decent one. And it is capable of charging a lithium battery. So I'm all good there. Now, one of the things I was gonna say is, uh, one of the reasons that uh, this battery that I bought is a little bit less expensive than other batteries is that it doesn't have a low temperature cutoff switch. And that's really important with lithium batteries. Lithium batteries cannot be charged when the temperature is uh, below freezing. Uh, so you need to have a charge controller that knows what the outside temperature is so that it stops charging the battery in low temperatures. Now, 
better lithium batteries have a built-in temperature sensor and this one does not and that's part of the reason why it's a little bit less expensive being that my charge controller already does that I think I'm gonna be okay I, I think I'm also gonna be okay because it usually stays pretty warm here in the van especially because I don't work very well in cold climates myself and so I generally stay out of the cold so keeping all those things in mind I don't think having a low temperature cutoff not built into my battery is going to be a big deal for me. Now I've been pretty lucky uh, in that I've had a couple of other portable power supplies. I've got this little Rock Pals power supply. I've been using this to have lights and to keep my phone and iPad charged. Uh, so that's been great. That thing's really been working out well. Uh, and then because it's a little bit too small to run my fridge, uh, I've been running the fridge off of this larger Bullbat 500 watt power supply and it's been doing pretty well but I do have a real hard time keeping this charged up. If I'm driving of course I can get some charge in on that but I really don't drive much. It, it's kind of a big misconception that I drive a lot. People tell me I'm driving a lot all the time but I really don't and so relying on that as a way to keep these things charged has just not been working well for me. So I've been struggling with power for the last couple of weeks here. It's not been fun. Look at the difference between these two batteries. So the old battery is a sealed lead acid battery. It's a gel battery, but basically just an AGM battery. And 200 amp hours and 138 pounds versus this one is 100 amp hour lithium, it's like 25 pounds. Look at the size difference between the two. And the weird thing is with these types of batteries, they're about equal with usable power. Because even though the Renogy there is 200 amp hours, you can only really use 100 amp hours of that available 200 amp hours in the battery. Uh, if you use more, you ruin the battery or you greatly reduce its life. And versus the lithium battery, which is only 100 amp hours altogether, but you can use most of it. So it means that these two batteries are just about equal uh, in capacity. But boy, the size, the size and the weight is quite different. Now I need to say here that even when I realized I was going to need a new battery, I was really holding off. I really didn't want to just spend $300 on a new battery. Uh, $300 is a whole lot of money and it's not uh, money that I really have to spend. So I was kind of holding off even though I knew I was going to need to buy a battery. I was figuring I would just use the bull bat as a battery, just tie it into my system and see how long I could do that. Uh, but that became pretty clear that that wasn't really a, a good long-term solution. And even when I did realize that that wasn't a good long-term solution, I still didn't just break down and buy a battery. But I finally did buy a battery because uh, one of you actually reached out and asked me if I would uh, like some help with it. And I immediately just replied back and said uh, to this person that no, uh, you don't need to help because this person is already a uh, Patreon supporter of mine. And so I told him, you're already helping me buy the battery. You're already a Patreon supporter. So, you know, you're, you're already helping. Uh, and he didn't listen to me. Uh, he went ahead and just sent me uh, a very, very generous little donation to go ahead and buy the battery. And so uh, when he did that, I, I went ahead and, and got serious about buying the battery. Uh, I am very thankful because this is really the right thing to do. Uh, I need a battery because I really rely on my refrigerator. If you don't know, I do have some health issues that require me to cook most of my food. And uh, I haven't been eating out. I think I've eaten out once over the last three months. Uh, someone actually gifted me uh, dinner, and so that's why I went ahead and did it. But uh, normally I'm, I'm making my own food and keeping my own food here in my fridge, and it's a really important thing. If I don't do that, 
uh, my health is bad, very bad. And so um, I really kind of need to have good uh, supply of power because of that issue. And so um, having a fridge in my van is a big thing for me. Uh, if not, I don't know what I would do. I may not even be alive, not to make it sound overly dramatic, but that's actually the truth. So I am really thankful to Paul. Uh, thank you, Paul, for helping me out, uh, even after I told you not to. That's really, really greatly appreciated. Okay, so I've got the new lithium battery charging, and hopefully that'll be quick. We'll see. Uh, my issue now is it's uh, just after one o'clock, which means if I want to get out of LA, I better go now. So I think I'm going to uh, end this here, and I'm not really sure which direction I want to go, but I do know that I want to escape LA, so I better get a move on. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.